Hey, this is John, and today the tools I'm going to show you deal with connecting to other computers and screen sharing. Uh, I'm going to talk about four different tools that I use. I'm going to talk about how I use them and how you might want to use them and, and different, different ideas for what you can do. So, the four different tools I'm going to show you today are CrossLoop, Remote Desktop, Acrobat.com, and LogMeIn.com. Now, I'm going to start off with Remote Desktop which is built into Windows and you can get it by going to let's cancel that you can get it by going to start programs accessories communications remote desktop on Windows XP in Windows Vista you can search for remote desktop in the start menu now remote desktop is is one of the older applications that are available to connect to other computers and I'm going to show you what it does now, I know that some of you are very familiar with this, and you're very familiar with, with VNC, which is another way to connect to another computer. I'm just going to talk about remote desktop because it's built in. So, one of the things that you will need to be aware of with remote desktop is that the computer that you're connecting to needs to have remote desktop enabled. And you can search for Google for how to enable remote desktop. You need to have XP Pro. Or a, or a higher version of Vista, I'm not sure what, to, to be able to enable it. Once you do enable it though, you can either type in the IP address or if it's on your local network you can put in the name of the computer and click connect and it will bring you up to the other computer. Now there I can get into that computer and here's the desktop of that computer. Uh, now I have I'll make it a little bit smaller and you can see exactly what's going on. But here's my Flickr uploader. I don't want to restart fire. Here's all my pictures. This is my my other window. Uh, and you can you can easily connect to and then you can access this computer and do anything you want with it. I can move this around, do whatever you want. Now this computer is the one that's hooked to my TV, so you can see that I was looking at funny YouTube videos the other day with some friends on my TV. And, and when I did that, I didn't use remote desktop. Now let me tell you about remote desktop. I'm going to close this. But basically you can connect to another computer with it. Here's why I didn't use remote desktop when I connected to that computer the other day. Because when you connect to remote desktop, it logs the other user out. So if you're connecting to another computer of yours, for example, if I was connecting to the computer that's hooked up to my TV, when I do that, I can't... Uh, I can't look at the TV anymore because it will log that user out. So here's what I did to, to connect to my TV. I used Log Me In. Now Log Me In, many of you have probably heard about uh, GoToMyPC.com. Log Me In is basically a free version of that. With Log Me In, you can download their software, install it on the computer that you want to connect to. So I have it installed on almost all of my computers. Um, with I have a couple of different accounts with Log Me In. Let me show you what I what I've done here. Log in to Log Me In. No, I don't want to buy the Pro. I just want to connect to one of my computers. So here are the two. This is the same one that I just connected to before. Um, you can install a Firefox plugin, which will do some really cool things. It will let you connect straight in your browser. I'm going to skip it. It will make you put in a passcode when you set it up. So I put in a passcode. Click on remote control. Now in my browser, I'm going to get access to the computer that we were just looking at, which is, you can see that it was logged out because I just logged in from remote desktop to this computer. But now, straight in my browser, you can see that I'm still in the browser here. It just connected. So in my browser, here's the menu options. I can now modify the same computer. I can make it go full screen. I can do anything I want with this. And I am now connected. The cool thing about Log Me In is you can do this from anywhere and you can it doesn't log the other person out. So I could put this on my TV and I could connect from my laptop and sit in front of it and control the computer without having to have a keyboard 20 feet away, uh, whatever. 
So log me in is really great for when, when you're away from your home and you want to connect to your home, you don't have to configure anything like with remote desktop or VNC. Log me in will just connect you straight in your browser. So that's a really, really cool tool. I think log me in will let you connect to three different computers for free and then after that you have to pay for it. So I use this when I am out and uh, remote desktop won't work for me because something happened with the router or whatever. Log me in will always work. So I'm going to close this and disconnect from it. And I'm going to show you another tool. Here is a Acrobat.com and Adobe Connect Now. There are a couple other tools here. The one I want to show you is Adobe Connect Now. I'm going to click on it. And what this does is it allows you to share your to share your screen with other people, and you can also share your webcam, you can all you can share some other things. And it also allows other people who are connected to you to share their screen with you so you can go back and forth. For example, if, if you were doing coaching or training or something like that, you could say, hey, here's what I'm doing. Look at my screen. Now show me how you do this on your screen. And then they could say, share my screen, and then all of a sudden you would be seeing their screen, um, and they could show you their computer. So you can, you can do training this way. You can you could do tech support this way. There's lots of different things you can do. Now when you, when you get into this, they will give you your own URL, so something dot uh, Adobe Connect Now dot com, something like that, and you can give that URL to someone else. They go to the site, they click connect, and and they're connected to your meeting room, which is what they call it. So let me show you. I'm going to enter the meeting.